Tonight in Orange County, there are new concerns about contaminated water. We're talking about raw sewage and treated wastewater that could be rushing into nearby lakes and rivers. It is now sparking two counties to put up water advisories. New Six's Mike DeForest is live in Orlando at Lake Formosa. That is off Mills Avenue. And Mike, just how dangerous is the water out there? Well, Julie, we do not know the specific contamination level, but the city of Orlando has posted these health warnings out here saying that the water body is temporar temporarily unsafe due to contamination and that water activities are not advisable. Uh, this same thing is repeating itself all over central Florida. This apartment complex, Mills 50, the gallery, is dumping a lot of water into our street in this cell phone video shot Monday morning sewage can be seen bubbling up from a lift station outside an Orlando apartment complex. You can see it's like a river. According to a report filed with the state, two pumps here failed during Hurricane Irma, causing at least 15,000 gallons of sewage to flow down these streets. It smells terrible. But neighbors believe it was actually much more, saying the sewage gushed for nearly two days, all of it eventually ending up in Lake Formosa. They came around and let people, uh, people know that that's raw sewage and be careful. Across town in Apopka, Patricia Peterson watched as about 4,000 gallons of raw sewage spilled from this lift station. But one of the worst backups occurred at this sewer facility on East Colonial Drive that sits right alongside the Little Econ River. Authorities say nearly a half million gallons overflowed into the stormwater catch system. This is our one little drain in our driveway. When sewage leaks like this occur, state officials say it's generally up to the utility company or property owner to clean up damage caused by their equipment. While Florida's Department of Environmental Protection says it does hold polluters accountable, the agency also understands that some contamination may be unavoidable during a natural disaster. Now, the apartment complex where you saw that overflowing lift station sits uh, less than 100 yards from where we're standing here along Lake Formosa. Now, in most cases, the hope is that that contamination will simply get diluted by other water and render itself safe. But in other more severe cases of pollution, the state tells us that there may be disinfecting or other types of uh, cleaning that will be necessary. In fact, we're told that's already happening in some places. Reporting live in Orlando, Mike DeForest, News 6.